So today I'm showing you a glorarium, a Roman glorarium, used for fattening up your dormice. So you would keep your dormice in here, get them nice and fat, ready to feast upon at some point. The pot, we've just weighed it, it's about 12 and a half kilos with the lid, so it's a really quite a weighty object. These would be the sort of things that you would find in a fine villa, you wouldn't get them you know, in, in an average home. This is quite a, the dormouse is quite a fancy delicacy and it would take quite a while to get them fattened up sufficiently, I think, um, that they would be, you know, tasty to eat. We were trying to figure out sort of how one might cook a dormouse. Now this is a felted one that Graham had been given for Christmas. Um, and we, we thought that perhaps they might have been cooked similar to how guinea pigs are cooked um, in, in some places in South America. So you know, it, it's not an uncommon thing to eat small creatures such as this. Um, and I believe that some places in the world they still do eat dormice. So the dormice would live in this, um, this hefty pot. You can see that there are air holes for them to breathe. So there'd be nice ventilation. The pot itself, I'm sure, would be quite cool on the inside. You've got this little um, chute here, which gets filled with water. There's a hole. I'll hope sh hopefully be able to show you a bit better in a minute. Um, and then on the other side, there's another little dish. So you'd pour the water in there and the, the, the water would flow into the dish on the other side so that the dormouse would be well watered. Um, the lid uh, is based on one from Pompeii. So there are examples from Pompeii with lids. I think the lid is quite rare. The, 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 the pots themselves um, either survive better or um, are, are easier to find or easier to locate. I, I don't know. Perhaps they found lids that they... They didn't associate with the glorarium, but certainly the pots are found more commonly than the lids are. But this is based on one from Pompeii. The jars themselves, again, you'd find them in Pompeii, obviously, but they were found in, um, elsewhere in the empire. Um, again, mainly where you've got rich villas and that sort of thing. I'm going to try and give you a look in the inside now. So this is the inside. You can see the corresponding dish where the water would flow in. Um, and then you've got these little shelves um, for the dormice to sit on. I'm not sure how this dormouse corresponds in size, but they would sit there um, on the little shelves. These shelves would also be used to put your food uh, into the chamber. So these would be filled up with whatever food um, the dormice might be given. So fruits and nuts and that sort of thing. It's a challenge to make these, uh, as I'm sure you can imagine, because the vessel is thrown, the whole vessel is thrown, but then you've got to insert these little um, ledges as well, which can be quite a challenge. In this case, this pot has been made in sections. So you can see here where the different sections are added. So this section is thrown and then a ledge a little ledge is put onto it, then the next section is thrown and attached, and then you do the same. So you get all of the little ledges in place, which just makes the whole process a lot easier. Because we have in the past thrown them, and there is evidence they were also made like this, where the, the entire pot is made, then a, co a thick coil of clay is added to the inside, and then the ledges are thrown. The problem with that is your visibility, you're working um, at, at this sort of angle, so you can see my hands, but with my face being this side of the vessel, um, this area of the pot blocks my view from what I'm doing, so it can be quite a challenge to throw them like that. So this throwing it in sections is a much, much easier way of doing it. I'm gonna see if I can show you. There, you can get the, hopefully you can see the, the little water pot there on it, on that side, and then you can see there the little hole where the water comes through. So that is our glorarium.